Perfect. Welcome into Tips for Gamers, and in today's video, guys, we are going to be doing a career sim with Davis Mills. We are going to try and turn him into a beast. That is our big goal. Uh, I really want to turn this guy, you know, into a monster. He was really good in college or before college. He was coming out. He was one of the highest. Uh, I think he was a five-star recruit. If my memory serves me correct, he ended up getting injured. Uh, this guy has all the potential to be great. He really does. But whether he'll get there or not, there's a lot of elements to decipher whether or not he will end up becoming what he could become. Okay, so he has the potential. I'd like to see what would his career be like if we could put everything in the right scenario. We're only going to be in control of him. We can't control the team whatsoever. Uh, so I'm going to try to get him to be a Hall of Famer. That's the biggest goal. I want to win Super Bowls. Um, you know, if I have to leave the Texans eventually, I'm going to do whatever's in the best interest of the player. Okay, so this is our Davis Mills career sim. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and welcome into Tips for Gamers. So for the season goals, we are going to do 25 passing touchdowns for 1,200 XP. Uh, this is the best way to do it because even 3,500 passing yards, which is you know somewhat easy to do in this you only get 800 xp 4500 is not that easy to do it's much easier to get 25 tds and 4500 yards and you get more xp for this uh, so right in the beginning this is what i'm gonna start with so i'm not gonna fight his um his attributes too much or his uh, archetype too much here i'm gonna go strong arm though because i know he's pretty good with field general and these two go basically hand in hand. But a strong arm is going to get you a lot of passing yards throughout a season. So, and that's kind of what I'm looking at here uh, is just to continue to make them good. They have improviser on and I'm just, that's never going to happen for Mills. Is, so I'm not going to fight it. Or we'll be the same overall for the next 50 years. So, unfortunately, we did very terrible. And I mean, like, we won two games the entire season. Um, got 20 TDs, not 25. 32nd in offense, 25th in defense. Uh, this team is just, you know, not great. Not a great team. MVP, Coach of the Year, Ben Meyer. Um, you know, not really that great. Logan Wilson, he, get, he gets uh, Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie, yeah, I was really hoping that I could uh, pick that up, personally. That would have been nice. But, yeah, so far, not a great season uh, whatsoever. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Kansas City first seed, Cowboys first seed. They're going to win Super Bowls, no doubt. Carolina and Cowboys are always good in simulation right now. Uh, Tennessee Titans are second seed. So, yeah, we'll see who, who wins at the end of the year and how it kind of played out. So, it put us in the Pro Bowl, uh, which is nice, but somehow it keeps putting me in the Pro Bowl. And I don't know why, but it's not giving me any legacy points for it. Uh, so, anytime I do these player ones, it throws me in the, the Pro Bowl. I mean, I guess it didn't do bad, um, but... And that is also because of the fact that what's his name is out for the Super Bowl. I'm assuming uh, from looking at this that Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. So here's the playoff bracket. Cowboys, Chiefs, um, not shocked at all. Bengals made a good run, lost to the Chiefs in the championship. Uh, Jaguars made a decent run. Uh, Titans did well at first and then, you know, dropped off. The L.A. Rams, they did good. Carolina moved on to the second seed and uh, just couldn't hang on. And the Cowboys end up winning six Super Bowls. Uh, so, yeah, huge, huge year for the Cowboys. So the Texans have quite a bit of money to spend, $59 million. Uh, they'll, they have me for pretty cheap. Um, so I would like to stay on to the, the Texans. They ended up getting rid of Johnson. They got Brandon Cooks, Nico Collins. Um, not the greatest offensive line, but not the worst. Some aging pieces there, but we're going to probably have the first round pick. Hopefully they don't draft a quarterback because then it's very obvious my replacement is coming because eventually in time I need to be the highest overall. I'm not going to just stay on a team. Uh, so... 
So yeah, you know, a lot of money to be spent here, but defense is is uh it's honestly atrocious. So we spent a lot of money, but not enough. Uh that's really, you know, we got some guys, Pascal, Guyton, nothing really huge. You got Eric Ebron old. Uh, you know, we picked up uh, DeCastro here, David Castro. A lot of guys that are past their prime and just really not that great. Um, so, Ejafor, how you, however you say his name, middle linebacker Wilson, nothing really amazing. Sullivan, not terrible there, but uh, in reality, just I would say decent guys, not great. Carl Joseph, who shows he could be good and then shows he kind of drops off year after year. So we actually had a very good draft. We were the first overall pick. We ended up picking Bowie, Isaiah Bowie, uh, who's a beast. And uh, we got Hooker, who's also a beast, really good cornerback. We got a center as well, who is very talented in my opinion. I just hope he gets his start. Uh, but all in all, it was a very, very good draft. So we actually did a little better this season. We went three, four, five, six, seven. So that's actually not too terrible. Seven wins um, is, is fantastic uh, compared to being terrible. So, you know, we're, we're on the incline. At least that's a good sign. Now, I got 4,700 yards passing, which is pretty good. Fifth in the NFL, 20th in offense, 35 TDs, 26 in defense. Uh, so, passing-wise, did fantastic. Did really fantastic. And, uh, yeah, it was not bad. Really not bad there. Now, I'm curious to see how that rookie did. Desmond King did good. Uh, Tranquil. I'm definitely curious to see that cornerback did well. Um, Hooker. Now, if I go to the sacks, you would assume that he would be up there. There he is. Isaiah Bowie. Six sacks. Not a bad season at all. Four interceptions. Hooker got two, which is good. Uh, very, very, very good. So MVP goes to Tom Brady. Mike McCarthy is probably first seed. Offensive player of the year, Lamar Jackson. Max Crosby, uh, not shocked there. Best quarterback, I was considered. I was seventh, so can't complain there. Probably go to the Pro Bowl uh, again. So all in all, you know, it was I have to say it was a decent season. I can't say it was great, but it was progress, and, and that's something that's, that's good to see. Cowboys and Chiefs, once again. Panthers didn't make it somehow. I don't know how. But they didn't make it. The Browns are up there. So we'll see who pans out. I think at the end of it, I think the Browns will make a good run. But we'll, they might fall short. Uh, you never know with the Steelers either. Um, Bucks could really do something. We just don't know. Pro Bowl I got in again. So two-time Pro Bowler. Pretty nice to see. Tom Brady got in. So that means the Bucks didn't go. Ravens didn't go. Browns didn't go. And Chiefs are in, and um, likely the Cowboys are in again, too, I would assume, just from looking at this. Yeah, again, back-to-back -back both teams again. That's crazy. Browns got beat right away. Um, Steelers made a move. They're usually typically pretty good. Look at the Giants go. Pretty impressive. Um, if the Cowboys beat them again, that's just going to be embarrassing. So the Chiefs came back and did well. The Cowboys went 16-1. Chiefs went 15-2. Just insane. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're just – they just went back-to-back. Back. I mean, that's so rare for that to happen, but it did. Pretty cool to see. So with our team here, I want to look at our salaries. Um, you know, who we picked up. We did pick up David Blow. Uh, we picked up Rashad Penny. So, not bad. Starting to get a little bit better with the halfbacks and things like that. Um, no wide receivers except for some backups down there, which were likely practice squad guys uh, from the looks of it. And no one there. Backup, horrible guy from the practice squad. And let's see here. Turner. 
Yeah, not not too great. I would have to say our free agency bidding it was uh, a trash. Uh, it was terrible. We got Johnson, we got Griffin, and uh, Lynch. Uh, just this is just why spend this money the way you're spending it, Littleton. I mean, Jesus, you act like we're like one game away from a Super Bowl or one player away. Fenton, uh, okay. I can see that. Uh, you did nice. Patrick Peterson, The uh, it would be great if it was the you know first version of him, the youngest version of him cause in his prime, because then this would be great. It would be like a 97 overall. But, yeah, not not great. You know, To we're going to see what we do in the draft here, but I assume that it's – It'll be okay because we're not we we did get seven wins, so we're not the worst team. I don't know what we would have drafted. I'm hoping that we picked up some linemen, some defensive guys of some sort. That would be nice, something cool. But you you really just never know with the CPU. You really never know. Uh, another left end, another right end, a tight end. This is terrible. It was a terrible draft. Yeah, hopefully this guy is a hidden dev, so there's that. At least, you know, we got a, a different guy than, you know, getting two really good right ends, even though the CPU would have automatically started him on the opposite side. But, you know, not bad, not great. I would give it a D plus to a C minus. So this is the team. I'm a 75 overall superstar dev, Rashawn Penny, Andrew Beck. Uh, Cooks, you know, we st we don't really have bad guys. We just don't really have like that elite talent just yet. Uh, so and that's that's the one thing that's a little bit tough. Um, but for the most part, you know, Bowie's doing well. Not great on the linebackers, honestly. It's just it, we're just like I don't know. We're just not there yet. So, and our cornerback's injured. Our uh, hooker's injured. He's set our uh, one-year pro. He's out. So, yeah. And some guys, are, big guys are coming up on a contract. I'm not coming up on a contract yet, but I will. So, we'll see what they're going to do with me. Uh, if they want to sign me, if they, you know, what they want to do. So, we ended up winning five games, which, uh, you know, not the greatest in America. But, uh, you know, it's a start. It's a little bit of a, a little little improvement here. 4,500 yards, 24 TDs. Uh, not too terrible. I should have done the passing yards this year because, yeah, I mean, you're just doing okay here and there, just nothing great. This guy, Corey Littleton, had a pretty big year at 148 tackles, quite a bit, four and a half sacks, three interceptions. That's Pro Bowl. Uh, no doubt about that. Lamar Jackson. Ooh, Baker Mayfield's on the Eaglets. Get out of my whole face. Robert is a beast. Look at him go 11 and 6 with them boys. Look at him. Willie Ogletree. Look at that man. Matt Rule not even staring at the camera. Love it. Um, oh, I was like, wait a minute. I thought there was two Eagles coaches, but I was getting Baker Mayfield confused with the coach. Uh, anyways, a bunch of lies here. All this is lies. Mac Jones, not even that good. Prove it. Uh, no, he's actually pretty good, but not compared to me. I'm the best in the world. I'm an American hero, son. Get out of my face, huh? Um, best quarterback. Well, a little bit of lies going on here, but they got to bring the man down. Because the man's going to rise, and they know I'm going to rise. And then once I rise, they can't stop me. That's the big difference. Is once the king takes his throne, good luck taking it from him. Now, when it comes down to the Pro Bowl, you know your boy's getting in it. You know your boy's going to light it up. So the Chiefs are in it again. Cowboys are not in the playoff. Neither are the Eagles. Uh, neither are the Ravens. So who would that I know the Chiefs are in the, the playoffs. I know they are. But then who else is in? Let's make, it, let's make an educated guess. The Steelers? Who would it be? Who are you? Oh, it's the Panthers. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. Well, I didn't, but I did. I I didn't 
I didn't at all. I didn't even suspect it. But if, if I really put on my thinking cap, you ought to figure it out. Because I already told you guys before, the Cowboys and the Panthers, for some reason, are ridiculous in sim since the updates, the recent updates with Madden. Um, so both these teams I now hate. I hate the Cowboys too now. I hate the Chiefs. Um, and I hate all these teams. I hate every team that's not our team. Let's go Texans. Let's take a little looky-poo at this old thing here. Carolina Panthers win their first Sis Bizaruni. Shaq Thompson gets the MVP, which is phenomenal for that man to get it. Congratulations to you. You are a blessed little angel. $39 million. That's what we have. I'm coming up on a contract. Some say I'm the best that's ever lived. Look at this guy. Snell. What a beast. Now, they just really have not given us anything. This, I, I think I'm going to hit free agency if they keep this up. Because this is just... They're not... Go, you got all this money, and why are you not going after? You're just not going after people. I mean, te your team is having a morale boot or a morale issue, and I mean, you're not putting your money where your mouth is. I mean, this offensive line is atrocious, and these these are who you're signing: Herbrig, Herbig, and uh, well, I think he was already on the team, but I mean, this is just hogwash right here. This is a hogwash. You're not giving. Quarterbacks leave teams like this because they're like, dude, I'm I'm out, bro. I'm not gonna win. I, I'm not gonna win on this team if you're not spending money. You have to spend money. I don't understand it. I just don't get it. Well, I'll tell you what, look at this little blessed angel. Marcus Peterson. What a monster. Look at you. He is he is a beast. An absolute beast. This sucked. What are you doing? Who taught you how to draft? Why'd you draft for free safety? We already got one. Frank Manning. Rest her crap. We got three good guys and one of them we don't even need. This guy's okay. You know, he's good. He can be good. But, I mean, he's better than the guys we got. So, you know, hey. Improvement. So... Nico Collins, my boy, him and I are tight as hell. Um, broskies till we die. We even got matching tattoos on our butt cheeks. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got this uh, chemistry going, and we got him up to some kind of, uh, I didn't say. I didn't say what it was. But we're three and four on the season, and we're going with an upgrade here. So right now it's 78 overall. We're, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. We must have got a new offensive coordinator. Something changed here. That was a different scheme. So, we won two, three, four, and that's it. And then we lost just... So, we won four games again. Um, I'm assuming they're going to probably draft a quarterback or something. I don't know. But... Just not getting a lot of passing yards here. I mean, it really is. It's just it's just a struggle on the Texans right now. They're just doing a they're having a hard time really um just they're having a tough time. I mean honestly, it's just it's not an easy situation for us. And Frank Manning, not shocked there. You know, he's pretty talented. Um, Paul Baggs and Marcus Peterson went 4-13. and 13. So, you know, just not, not excellent. So, I'm in the Pro Bowl again. Uh, looks like Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs, are once again in the Pro Bowl as well. And uh, our halfback is not... And basically, none of our guys. This is not. Whatever. Yeah, uh, Texans just they're they're just uh, struggling here with just struggling with trying to get 
this team under control. And it's not the quarterback. It's 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 not Mills. Mills is fine. So it's the Bucks and um, the Steelers. Interesting is that is that his Chiefs didn't even make it to the playoffs this time. Cowboys did, and they lost to the Bucks. Panthers did, lost to the Bucks. The Bucks wiped out the two beasts in the NFC, the Panthers and the Cowboys. So, yeah, uh, this is definitely an interesting. I think the Bucks are going to take this one, to be honest with you. 40 to 18, not even close. They st- destroyed them. So let's look over our team. Now, the only reason I re-signed with the Texans is because Sean McVay is the new head coach. So, you know, they, they um, I, I'm happy with it. Honestly, I have no issue. There was a few teams that wanted me. Uh, I thought about going to the L.A. Rams. Um, I thought about going to the Raiders. That was another one. Um, a lot of teams offered me contracts. Most of them wanted me to come be a backup. And then, you know, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but Manning, you know, he's he's turning into a pretty good halfback here. So I kind of want to see what we can do with him. Uh, we got a young team. We got Michael uh, Michael Thomas here. So some old, old dudes, but still, you know, decent talent here. A little bit more guys uh, that I can throw to. We still have not figured out the tight end sitch. I got a three-year contract, and I'm not... You know, it's whatever. If I, if by that time, if it's not working out, I'll move on. But as it sits right this second, I'm going to stick with the, the Texans. You know, uh, this guy's also a beast um, that we picked up. We got a one-year deal from uh, Pierce. And uh, linebacker is still just an area which we are not doing well. But this guy that we drafted, absolute monster. Um, we got a really good guy here, and I don't know why we have him. We should move him to corner, but he's run support. So move him to strong safety. I wish that they could do that. Uh, but, yeah, we're about to go into the draft, see who else we can get. Hopefully we get it like a really good tight end, a uh, really good lineman, you know, maybe really good outside linebacker, uh, left outside linebacker, something like that. We really need some of those positions. A good wide receiver, too, because the wide receivers we have are old. So, and of course, they draft a quarterback. Oh, my God. Yeah, they draft a quarterback, Matt Berlin. And uh, that's just, that's frustrating. Honestly, frustrating that they drafted a freaking quarterback. You know, he's not going to beat me out. But what a waste. The first overall selection. You got to be kidding me. We got one lineman here, another good lineman here. You know, decent lineman, fullback. Just all in all, I'm just not impressed with McVay's uh, drafting. This is this is tough. The Texans usually struggle in in Madden. And, uh, you know, even if you get a good quarterback, here's why. I mean, we could still come back and really do well. And that's the thing. That's if I if I do my part and get to a high overall and cost basically nothing, you know, I I don't have an issue with that. I'll uh, help this team get as good as we can get. So yeah, it'll be a good season. Hopefully, we'll see what we can do. So forty three hundred yards, fifteenth in the NFL and passing yards. Uh, it's just just not quite. You know, nineteen interceptions. Uh, we're just we're just not there, you know. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, you know, it is it is tough because you know you did just draft a quarterback. I get it. You know, you kind of you're thinking on moving on from me. You wanted you signed me, so I'm kind of confused by that. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just really wish you know that we had I don't know that we just we drafted better we we did things that were just a little bit better um, but you know what can you 
what can you say? I don't know how many games we won, but I know it was like five at most. Um, you know, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. We won six games. Not great, but we're, we're still a young team, super young. So the Bengals and the Eagles with Baker Mayfield going to the Sizz Bizaruni. Bucks almost did it again. Chiefs got knocked out by the Bengals big time. So I'm going Bengals on this one. And now I am an L.A. Ram. Um, they had real issues with quarterback. Uh, and, uh, you know, with the Texans, I just asked them if they could cut me. That was basically it. Is I was saying, hey, I'm getting old, man. I'm because because I am. I'm I'm at the point now where I'm getting old. This scheme fits me, and um, you know I really want to win. And we have, you know, a very talented team still. It, it's still a talented team. It's old. There's no question about it. Um, there's some pieces that aren't great, but at the same point in time. You know, I uh, I wonder where Aaron Donald went too, because this defense is looking like a shell of what it used to look. This is looking pretty, pretty saucy and not a good way. But I'm an LA Ram, and I'm gonna I'm gonna at least give him a shot. I only have um, two years left on my contract, and I don't even have a contract actually at this point in time. I have I re-signed with him, and I only re-signed a three-year deal. But I'd like to get something in a little bit longer. You know, I played five seasons with Houston, and it's just, it's just we're not we're not doing anything, you know, not enough. And uh, you drafted a quarterback. I'm gonna let you do your thing, and I'm gonna move on. Now let's see who we picked up. Uh, we did. Oh me, I was like scared for a second. I was like, oh crap. Um, please say we got. No, we didn't. No real tight end, but all right, whatever. Looking uh, okay on that offensive line. Not the greatest offensive line. Who do we pick up? Back up D tackle. Um, who the hell did we pick up? Did you guys participate? Didn't look like you did. And did we just draft ourselves a wide receiver? We did. We did. We drafted ourselves a wide receiver. Oh, boy. And we got Jake Jeffers. The Jeffers out of Florida State. Good center. We need offensive linemen, no doubt. Um, decent halfback here. But all in all, not a terrible, terrible draft, I would say. I'd say it was a success. Seventh in the NFL in passing yards. Point scored, we were 10th. Very, very... A good season compared to what I've been used to. Uh, definitely moving on up. I mean, 33 TDs, 12 interceptions. Uh, very, very good compared to what I was before. Sacked 45 times. Um, but for the most part, this was this was a lot better. Definitely a lot better. So I like this. I'm not getting as many passing yards. Like if I was on. The Packers, I'd get a lot of more, a lot more passing yards, but um, you know I can't complain. This is uh, this is much better for us than it was on the Texans, and I'm getting old. You know, I'm not. It's not like I'm super old or anything, but I can't keep doing uh, the same the same stuff here. Where I, you know it's just I, I'm not going anywhere. I'm in the NFC, but uh, yeah, I mean it's just. It's a little better for me on the Rams. So I, I'm actually considered Offensive Player of the Year, which is nice. Best quarterback. I'm the fourth guy on the list as it sits right now, which is pretty sweet. I like that. You know, I can I can deal with that. So at the end of the season, the Rams decided to trade me to the Packers. And, uh, you know, look, um, when you're as good as me, it's uh it's obvious everyone wants a piece everyone wants a piece of the pie and uh, i understand it I completely understand it. i'm a superstar dev i'm 28 years old i'm looking uh like like a man version of goldilocks over here all right uh powerhouse bench press unknown because i'm that good 
Uh, so, you know, um, we'll see what we could do here. They run a spread. It's going to be a lot of passing. I like that. I've not looked over the team yet, but I'm sure they're majestic creatures. They're stallions, um, champions of the people. So, uh, you know, my one uh, year in L.A., cool. It's fun. But um, we got to look past that. We got to become heroes. And we got to become a Green Bay Packer. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do for the remainder of our career. If it, if it suits us, I don't know. Uh, I want to play for a championship team. I want to win. I want to be successful. I want to dominate. I want everyone to sing my name from the rooftops. So far, this team is majestic. Uh, they are stallions. We got Albert. I love him. I already love him. We're best friends already. Uh, magical stuff. Uh, Matthews, I don't care for him all that much. He's cool, though. He's cool. Uh, Brooks, great guy. Look at this guy. Jenkins, what a legend. I got to play with a legend. Uh, okay, not bad. Not the best I've seen in my whole entire life. But I like it. I'm a fan of it. I'm ready to tumble. I'm ready to go. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to light it up. We're going to show Packers fans what it's like to win again, to be just the best the world has ever seen. And Jordan Love's coming up on a contract, but he's getting benched over me because I'm way better, and uh, there's no honest chance that he's going to be able to keep up. Uh, he didn't He didn't evolve enough. Um, he just didn't, you know, especially since I'm a superstar dev. It's just it's too hard to keep up with. But Dockery, uh, what a beast that we ended up picking him up out of the free agency, which is which is just great. That that is phenomenal. Now we got a power back, we got a elusive back, we got we got some good guys coming up here. Uh, wide receiver, we drafted him. Grow, I like this guy. I am a fan of him. So we're starting to bring in more wide receivers. Uh, this is great stuff. Look at this guy that we ended up picking up. Please start him. Please tell me he's starting. Please, for the love of all things holy, we got a tight end. I love it. Oh, I love it. Um, this, we ended up drafting this guy too, Davis, DJ Davis. DJ Davis. Love it. Uh, who else, huh? Who we do else? Who'd we pick up, huh? I don't know. Who else did we draft? Apparently nobody. We drafted a crappy free safety or strong safety. He's all right. He's not good. He's all right. His mom loves him. That's all that matters. So we ended up making it to the playoffs. We are the fifth seed. Happy to say. Cleveland Browns, who uh, there was reports I almost got traded to them. But, um, yeah, you know, they're a really good team. And the only reason why I wouldn't have wanted to go to them would be because my passing yards wouldn't be as as good because they're a running team, you know. Yeah, I'd be able to go to the Sisbiz and blah, blah, blah. But um, I want passing yards right now, baby. I want to light it up with a lot of TDs. I want a lot of passing yards, a lot of violence, tornadoes, lightning. That's what I'm looking for. I'm also an 85 overall right now, 4,500 passing yards, 31 TDs. Not as much as I really wanted it to be. Um, nine interceptions, pretty good there. 36 sacks, so they're keeping me upright. Dylan's doing good. Um, Albert just was my boy, apparently. Same with uh, Wilbur. Wilbur was my boy. Uh, Tyler Garns was also my boy. Uh, he's a beast, okay? Uh, nothing anyone can say to change my mind. This cornerback got a lot of tackles, Eric Stokes. You're getting a lot of tackles for a cornerback. And pretty good sacks here, too, from Troy Durant and uh, Rashawn Gary and Kenny Clark. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is looking saucy so far. Looking saucy. Four interceptions, both of our middle linebackers here. It's looking good here. It's, they're running a 3-4, I assume, something like that. I can't, I could maybe, I don't know how I'd check in this mode. 
Don't know. Don't care. I'm over it. I'm out. MVP goes to Lamar Jackson. Jackson Pierce is the coach of the year. Um, let's go to the NFC here. Let's see who we got. Packers Davis Mills for Offensive Player of the Year. We win 11-6. and six. We're going in. We're not coming out until it's all done. Best QB. We were number two on the list. I wish we would have got two of these because then we would have got big legacy score jump, whatever it is. Uh, but, um, you know, whatever. Whatever. Some guys here and there. Good job. Good job, boys. Good job. Lighten it up. Rashawn Gary, deep back, everyone. Beautiful. Okay, so we won the first round against the Panthers, which is pretty amazing because these guys are really good. Uh, so now we're on a Washington football team, and if the Lions can pull it out, they beat the Cowboys. That was who I was really worried about was the Cowbeezies because they're very good in simulation. So obviously the Panthers were very scary because the Panthers and the Cowboys are the most terrifying. Okay, definitely the most terrifying uh, in simulation. They're very good. So that's a good sign so far. The Chiefs get wiped out. Happy about that because the Chiefs are obviously very, very good. Um, and that's something, you know, obviously you want to, you kind of, if you're going to go to the Super Bowl, you want to play like the not, not the best team, you know, and I'm not saying the Bengals are really good. I don't care what their seed says. Six seed doesn't matter. They can come in and beat anybody. Um, kind of want to play the Colts. I have to say, probably go with the Colts skis, uh, a little bit of the Colts, but, um, but yeah, yeah. I'm hoping we just can get past Washington here. And then rock on, baby. So we're on to one more game, and we get home field advantage. The Lions won. We beat Washington pretty good. The Lions won. Um, that's kind of scary, but they're seven seed. Ugh, I don't know. Uh, Ravens and Bengals. This is a tough one. Both in the same division. Big tough one there. Big tough guys there over there. Big old tough guys. Um, Colts lost. That was kind of who I was hoping to play, though, because I know who's on their team compared to the Ravens and the Bengals. So that's a tough that's a tough uh, road to hoe there. Okay, so I hope I'm not in the Pro Bowl. There we go. There we go. Ooh, this is a big one here. This is a big time, big time right here. This is a big one. Okay, I don't know if we won. I am hoping to go. Oh my God. We did not win. That did not happen. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. well I mean, we're going to be back. We're going to be back. All right, so we're going to give a little looky-poo who we got. Look how good I am. Amazing. Brilliant beautiful number 10 in your program number one in your hearts so that's how it goes superstar dev you betcha um they call me the sauce anyways uh looking good here we didn't draft anyone there who we got who we got huh Ooh, we drafted this guy here galloway watch out he's terrible we got sassier um good decent offensive line no doubt about it Pretty decent offensive line. I'd say definitely better than average, no doubt. We drafted this guy. Look at him. Champion of the people. Absolute champion of the people. Black here. James Black out of Alabama. Real good. Real, real good. Look at this guy. Rashawn Richard. Got the double R. What's your name? RR. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, decent, decent. We're good. We're ready to rumble. So, you know, 91 overall right now with the, with the morale boost. 87 overall total. We're, we're, we changed Davis Mills. There's no doubt. We made Davis Mills a household name at this moment. So, we're third in the NFL in passing, 12th in passing touchdowns. 
Uh, passing yards is what I mean. 4,700 yards, 30 TDs, 10 interceptions, sack 35 times. You know, really, really solid, uh, solid play. 322 yards rushing, 5 TDs. That's so crazy. That's bananas. Um, but yeah, Wilbur, our boy. Wilbur. <laughs> He's such a beast. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. Uh, 102. What do we get? I want to see the sacks. 12 by Gary. Where's the pickage? Nice. I love it. Love that. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. It's the best in America. That's what I'm talking about. Look at Zach Taylor. Look at that smile. That man is smiling for days. Deshaun Watson is an eagle. He's an eagle. How'd he beat me? Come on now. Am I ever going to get a yearly award for the love of all things holy? I'm not, a, I'm not the best quarterback. I'm not even close to the best quarterback. Are you kidding me? Am I looking at this correct? Oh, I was like, what? Okay, fifth. Behind Tyler Huntley. How's this man? What the hell? I think it's a bunch of hogwash. So the very first game, um, just domination, pure domination. Uh, honestly, determination, domination. We're at second seed. Ooh, Giants are first seed. Oh, thank God the freaking Panthers got wiped out. Except for the Cardinals who wiped out the pan. We wiped out the Panthers last year, though. So we'll see who will win this. Um, Raiders, look at you go. Ooh, division showdown right here. Raiders came. They had to go through the gauntlet. Jaguars have been doing really good with Urban Meyer on this. Um, Bills lost. Freaking Colts. They can't catch a break against the Ravens. Ravens is beating them. They're knocking them out every time. That's just hilarious. So we beat them by 10, and now we got to face the Giants. It's the Chiefs and the Bengals again. That's crazy. Uh, let's just hope we can at least get past this. That would be sweet. That would be awesome. Okay, I get to upgrade my player, but please don't be in the Pro Bowl. No. Oh, it almost was a repeat between us again. That would have been awesome. That would have been awesome as hell. Freaking Chiefs. So here's our uh, salaries. $48 million. I'm coming up on a contract, too. I expect them to uh, sign me. Uh, I do. I expect them to sign me. We are getting... Oh, ho, ho. Dockery is turning into Doc Duty. Not good. You're not getting as good as I thought you would get, Dockery. Um, a lot of a lot of dudes that practice squad or we signed. I don't know why something like that. I'm assuming most of them are practice squad. We did sign Rogers. Look at him go. Look at this guy. Perfect. Wilbur. I love him. We got Albert. Love him. These are my boys. We got Sasir. He's a beast. Hey, we drafted two tight ends. Two. Not one. Out of Ohio State. This guy's going to be a pro. Coming up on a contract. 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 $48 million. And then we got Jarrett. We got this guy we signed for a year. Can we just get this D line situated? Because Kenny Clark retired. He's gone. But we got Jonathan Allen. And we did draft this guy. Look at this. Gil Leary. What a beast out of Georgia. He's a big old, big old monster. That dude. He's a big beast. We got this guy. Beautiful. We did draft this corner. Still team is looking good, yeah? So we ended up going 10 and 6. This was a very bad passing year for almost all quarterbacks. It was weird. It was a weird year. Strange. Super funky business. Ooh, got me a upgrade. I'm already regressing, dear Lord. Oh, no. 
No. But look at my deep accuracy. My accuracy is great. I'm just a stud. Freaking stud. Anyways, everybody's looking pretty good. Everyone's looking, uh, you know, this is, this is, ooh, this kid. This kid, ha easily defensive rookie of the year. No question about it. Defensive rookie of the year. And this guy, amazing. But uh, I'm hoping I got some freaking Pat Mahomes, man. Quit it. Yes, I got a yearly award. Thank the gods. Okay, best QB, give me a break. That is just uncalled for. Oh, well, I know our guy got defensive rookie of the year. I know that for sure. So we won the first round against... Who, uh, the Seahawks. So now we're playing the 49ers. Ugh. That is, that's a tough one. I wonder if Sean McVay is still on the, uh, if he's still on the, on the uh, Texans. Oh, we made it to the next round. I wonder if he's still on to the Texans here. So we're playing New York Giants and the Jaguars are playing New England. Ooh, ah, man, if we could, we didn't make it to the Super Bowl last year. It would be pretty awesome if we made it, though, to be honest, uh, you know, uh, I would love it. Be amazing. So that would be cool. But uh, if we can't, you know, then whatever. Just burn the whole NFL down. But no, uh, good season so far. I'm pretty happy. I'm starting to regress, so I would really like to at least win one Super Bowl. Because they're going to say, if I'm not in the 7,000 to 14,000 range, they're going to be like, you're not a Hall of Famer. And I think that's hogwash. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer necessarily right now. Um, I think if we won a Super Bowl, maybe two, then yeah, I think he would go down as a Hall of Famer. Uh, especially with his stats. He's had really good yards, you know, really good stats. We'll go over his career here in a second. Okay, so out of all the quarterbacks, there is... Ooh, Baker Mayfield is now a Raider. Get out of my face, dude. That's pretty amazing. So we're keeping up with Mac Jones, who was drafted in the first round. We were drafted in the third round. And, you know, we're, we're doing... We're keeping up with him. We're keeping up with Joe Burrow. And Joe Burrow was drafted first overall Herbert we're keeping up with him we're beating Tua who was drafted in the first round we're beating freaking Trevor Lawrence who was drafted in the first round um Justin F Fields who was drafted in the first round Trey Lance who was drafted in the first round you know I mean we're beating all these dudes who were drafted at the same time as us basically uh you know one year ahead of us or one year after us here which Something's not right about that. What's the, what's the experience? The experience is odd. Something's wrong here with the experience. How many years? Something ain't right with this. I don't know what it is, but it's weirding me out. I don't like it. But never under 4,000 yards passing ever. The most interceptions was 19, and that was with Houston. That was a, Houston was just, I had to go. I gave them five years of my life, and honestly... If I would have stuck on, like, Green Bay or I would have been somewhere else, um, it would have been much different uh, for me in my career because Houston just has quite a bit of issues. So, you know, uh, it would be nice to to just keep winning as much as possible. Three, three years on Green Bay, and honestly, I'll probably be remembered as a Packer more than anything, uh, especially I've been to the playoffs more with the Packers. The Rams, we went to the playoffs, didn't go to the Super Bowl, nothing like that. I think we lost the first round, I don't even know. Uh, but Green Bay, all three years, we've gone deep in the playoffs. All three years. So uh, it's been it's been a good ride on the Green Bay Packers, there's no doubt. It's been fun. You know, and it's been pretty nice to just dominate these teams and uh, just do – well, I don't know. I mean, 27-24 against a really good team. 34-28. You know, box scores here. I don't know what I did. But Davis Mills, I mean, he's doing well. 394 yards, two TDs. 
Um, that's a good showing. I mean, it really is. That is a very good showing. So I'm happy that, you know, we're doing well in the playoffs. Now we just got to get past the Giants. So the fourth seed is going against the fifth seed. We beat the Giants 37-31. to 31. Huge, huge, huge. Second Super Bowl been to. Wish I would have won the first. Uh, but whatever. It is what it is. Playing the fifth seed Patriots, and we already know Mac Jones is very high overall right now. Jaguars were first seed, and they beat them, so this is intense. So we ended up winning. We, we became champions of the people, and... Uh, you know, we're American heroes at this moment, and uh, everybody loves us chanting our name. We we really did do well, and it's it was so tough with Davis Mills because it was like, dude, I mean, he's already regressing. We already regressed twice, two overall points is what I meant. Uh, but, yeah, I won a Super Bowl. Didn't get MVP, so that's unfortunate. That's not a good one for me. I don't like that. James Black did, though, our middle linebacker, who is a beast, by the way. That dude is a beast. He's like a one-year pro or two-year pro now, something like that. But anyways, we won. Um, we're basically, you know, just the best ever, uh, is what everyone's been saying lately. That's the rumor mill going on, best ever. And they're going to be like, ah, oh, Davis Mills, not a Hall of Famer, not a Hall of Famer. Everyone, blah, 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 J yaps their jaw. We were drafted in the third round, okay? Third round. And all of a sudden, we're sitting here, won a Super Bowl, you know, had never had anything less than 4,000 yards in a, in a season. And if we could win one more Super Bowl, in my opinion, we're, we're Hall of Famers. And I already think that he has a better chance at being a Hall of Famer than someone who was drafted before us. Because we're, we're beating them. We are beating Trevor Lawrence. We are beating Trey Lance. We are keeping up with Joe Burrow. We, you know, we're doing all the things that um, the highest of high first round picks do. So that's my case. I'm sticking to it. And we're the best there ever was. My hair is beautiful. And I got to go. So we had $39 million left going into the season. Uh, Moore is going to be our starting guy. We got him from free agency. Uh, Trey Sermon, we ended up picking him up. Rhodes as well. Uh, so they spent money. You know, we signed Albert to a uh, cushy contract here. Wilbur, we ended up signing. So we have, you know, pretty good guys. We ended up getting justice in the draft. So this guy's a beast. Uh, he drafted st still very, very, very nicely. Um, so signed our left tackle, Brooks, which I love to see. Uh, we ended up getting this guy in the draft. Not very good. We ended up signing uh, Ruiz. So that's good. They're trying to make sure we can win another Sizbiz, which would be really, really cool. Uh, very, very awesome if we could do that. And then um, Leary, we ended up drafting him last year. He's finally making his start now. Gary's still hanging on. And then uh, James Black, I wish he they'd just start him already because he would have been so much higher of an overall. And we ended up drafting, or no, we signed this guy. Uh, which is Crowder. We ended up signing him, drafted this guy last year. So not a real, obviously when you're Super Bowl champs, you know, you can't really draft all that good. But when you draft the wide receiver that we drafted, that's pretty impressive. So we are fourth seed. We went uh, 10 and seven, something like that. I don't know. Uh, anyways, we're going against Washington Commanders. And, uh, you know, we had a good season, it seems like. We're, we're, we're a good football team. We're just solid. We're a solid football team that is going to win more games than we lose. And we're going to come and compete. No one really wants to play us. You just don't. And so, yeah, uh, Raiders get first seed. Bucks get first seed. They got this quarterback named Wheeler who's pretty good. Uh, Raiders have Baker Mayfield. So, apparently, Baker Mayfield is a cheat code. Uh, the Eagles with Deshaun Watson, he's not showing up here. But... Um, Jaguars are doing good with Trevor Lawrence. We'll see if they win or we'll see if the Colts, well, the Colts, they would have to go play the Raiders. They couldn't play the Ravens. They're lucky they don't have to play the Ravens because they would have lost for some reason. The Ravens have their number in this simulation. 
So we were 12th in the league in uh, passing yards, 23rd in offense, which I don't understand how. Um, kind of weird. 30 TDs, 14 interceptions. Not my greatest year, no doubt. Trey Sermon, he's doing well. Davis Mills running like crazy. That's crazy. Um, but Rodgers, which is crazy. Rodgers, he must have. They must have been double covering these guys here a lot. Dwayne Wilbur and Albert. Um, Two Washington State wide receivers. Interesting. Um, our Justice, the rookie, he really didn't get much love here, which sucks because I would have loved to see him get some love. But my career is coming to, you know, it's coming to an end. So I, my best thing would just be to wish him wish him luck in the future. James Black was the leading tackler. Um, very good here. There's a lot of us who could easily be pro bowlers here. I don't know if my season was good enough to be a pro bowl year, but – um, you know, it's, uh, I'm now 13th on, I'm ahead of Kyler Murray and legacy. That's awesome. Justin Herbert, MVP, Urban Meyer, man. How many times you get coach of the year, bro? It's honestly insane. It's really crazy, but I'm third offensive player of the year. I'm ranked third. We went nine and eight. That's what we did. I thought we won 10 games. Was that last year? Whatever. We're in the playoffs. Um. Yeah, I could see this. Both these guys are really good. These guys are both out of the Big Ten. Uh, offensive Rookie of the Year. Look at the Rams go eight and nine, man. The Rams go eight and nine like every year. Um. What do we got? Defensive Rookie here. Do we got anybody on our team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Best quarterback. Eh? You sure? You positive? I don't think so. Interesting. Interesting. Most of these guys that are up here, except for except for D line and offensive line. Excuse me. I yawning. Oh my god. Um, are all on horrible teams. Uh, okay, we won. Good, 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 good. We beat the Washington. Oof. Wow. Someone else didn't have to go play the Bucks. You serious? This is a tough year right here. I can already tell. This is not going to be an easy one. Uh, Tennessee moved on. They beat the Jets. Jets are really good. Jaguars beat the Colts. Colts just, they cannot get it together. Even if we lose, like, this game, oh, well. Um, we had a good, not oh, well. I wish we could keep winning. But we had a very good, I'm happy about his, where he turned out. I mean, I can't not be happy. Because it's not like I, it's not like I was going to compete with Patrick Mahomes when I was, for one, drafted in the third round, not a very high overall, no dev, and I was on the Houston Texans. I mean, it's not like the Houston Texans were, are amazing, and not even close. Um, but yeah, so we'll see, we'll see who wins. I, yeah, we lost. That sucks. Bucks were just really good, um, very, very good this year. So, Wheeler's a beast, too. We probably have, like, you know, if I'm being realistic, I don't know how many more years uh, we have, but try to ride it out, get get a little bit more. As long as I pass Kyler Murray and Legacy and a few of these other guys, and, you know, I'll be, I'll think this is a true success here. Um, you know, where he, will he be a Hall of Famer? Um, I think it could be close. And I think people would argue at the fact that, if he was on Green Bay the entire time, he would have easily been a uh, easily been a Hall of Famer. Um, if we were on Green Bay the entire time, th this would have been something that you know. I mean, we won as many Super Bowls as Aaron Rodgers, so there is that. And yeah, he's thrown a lot of yards and stuff, and he's lasted long. But there's nothing Aaron Rodgers has done that that we haven't done so far. So the guys ahead of us, I mean, we're ahead of Justin Herbert in Legacy. We're ahead of Kyler Murray. Um, Mac Jones. We're ahead of Mac Jones. Trey Lance. You know, a lot of very good guys. Uh, very good guys. Jordan Love, we're ahead of him. Um, Tua. Danny Dimes. A lot of guys there but i mean the guys who are ahead of us wheeler this guy's a beast though this guy's really i don't know what his yeah okay well he's a beast that that's the guy we just played this guy's ridiculous 
So, yeah, he's a 99 overall, 97 with a plus two morale boost. But this guy is ridiculous. Yeah, he, he was drafted first round, the, the, you know, uh, Justin, Justin Fields, pretty talented. Trevor Lawrence, you know, he has more yearly awards. Was, yeah, whatever. Joe Burrow, he won two Super Bowls. He won one on us, too. You piece of crap. Um, but, yeah, and then Baker Mayfield's up there, man. Baker Mayfield, he's he's just been a beast somehow. And he keeps getting, like, legacy points like crazy. I don't understand it. But, yeah, I think very good career so far. So the Ravens ended up beating the 99 overall. J.K. Dobbins gets MVP. Ohio State uh, running back. What a beast. And then Nick Bosa, too, gets uh, a lot of Ohio State people. Or, uh, coach of the year was Ohio State coach. Nick Bosa, J.K. Dobbins, MVP. Pretty intense. So Trey Sermon and Jari Alexander retire from our football team. A lot of guys retire in here. Christian McCaffrey, a lot of household names here. Marlon Humphrey. Uh, Justin Tucker, Miles Garrett. I mean, this is a lot of Hall of Famers in this year uh, that are hanging up the helmet. They they pulled the helmet off. They're hanging it up. So we are the sixth seed, and uh, you know I'm definitely my my guy's getting old. Mills is getting old. Um, so it'd be nice if we could make some crazy run. That would be awesome as hell. But Steelers are first seed. Seahawks are first seed um, in the NFC. We got the Panthers. Giants, who were really strong uh, for a while now. They've been really strong. Kansas City has just not been doing well. Uh, The Patriots are insane. So, you know, they're coming back for uh, some vengeance. So, 16th in passing yards. 30. I mean, it's like we get the same... It's just like no matter what year it is, it's the same amount of, uh, you know, I mean, we've played on Green Bay for five years too. Went to one Super Bowl. I think we went to two Super Bowls, lost one. So that's sad. But uh, 10 years so far in the NFL, pretty good stats. I mean, these are, this is nothing to be ashamed of at all. This is, he's, I think he's a household name. Davis Mills, and they'd be like, yeah, he's pretty good. MVP goes to Oster String, Oscar Stringer. Jesus. And this is where you know everyone's getting old. When uh, you're 10 years down the road and you're starting not to recognize some of the dudes. Third there. And legacy is 3,500. I'd say it was... Um, so far, so good. So far, so good. This is, uh, it's been fun. So we beat the Panthers. We got the Rams. That's pretty cool. Coming up, the Ramskis. And then Seahawks, Washington Commandos, um, Steelers, Titans. Uh, yeah, I don't know who's going to win out of that. Titans are still a decent team, and I think the Patriots could definitely pull it off. And we are one game away. We are playing the Washington football team. It is the 6-7 and seed. That is crazy. The Patriots, though, they're scary. So are the Steelers. But this is crazy right here. This is insane. I am so terrified to see who's in it. Oh, my God, we lost. God, 31 to 15. That is, that was a beating. That was a beat down. Washington football team ended up beating them. That's amazing. That's amazing. They were, they were really good in the playoffs. They beat us. We didn't lose as bad. But, you know, just going to say that, Patriots. So we maybe didn't win a Super Bowl this last year. But that's fine because I think we had an amazing, amazing career. 
There are not very many quarterbacks who are ahead of us right now as it sits. And we were drafted nowhere near any of these guys that you see right now on your screen, except, well, Lowry's different because that guy's CPU and you don't count. Because I don't know when you got drafted, but I know it's pretty high. But think of all these guys who got drafted. First round picks, first round picks, first round picks, third round, third overall. 48,622 yards, 322 TDs with only 135 interceptions. Our rating was a 94.5, which is pretty good. We averaged 260 yards a game, which is better than a lot of these guys. Okay, better than Joe Burrow. Keeping up with Mac Jones. A lot of these guys who they're going to give a Hall of Fame jacket to. We were an eight-time Pro Bowl quarterback. Eight times we went to the Pro Bowl. Eight times. Think about that. That's insane. Eight-time Pro Bowl. Went to the Super Bowl twice. Went to the NFC Championship, what, three, four times? Who knows? But that's ridiculous. We have a Super Bowl ring. I'm stating my case right now that Davis Mills... Maybe not a first ballot, but a second ballot? Oh, heck yeah. That golden jacket needs to be tailored right now and start getting his bust ready because this man played his freaking heart out. And it was impressive as hell. And I got to say, after all this, it was a good rebuild or uh, whatever, player, player simulation career simulation whatever we want to call this the thing is though davis they're going to tell you that you're not a hall of famer because madden is stupid but i think you were let us know what you think down in the comments below and wait to see what madden says when we go into retirement you entered the league as a first round pick with sky high expectations well madden i don't know who you're getting your information from but I was drafted in the third round, the third overall selection. So, early on, scouts and GMs had you pegged as a surefire Hall of Famer, but those predictions never panned out. Well, Madden, they did not. They said I was going to basically not do anything. That my ability to win a team a Super Bowl was basically zero. And Davis Mills proved you wrong. He proved you wrong with the right team. This man is an eight-time Pro Bowler. 49, 48,000 yards, however many. I can't even count because there's so many thousands at this point. This man has made legends sit on their couch and watch him play. So, be a little bit more respectful to the legend you see in front of yourself with that still very blurry kind of photo of Davis Mills, the Hall of Famer. But don't worry, that blurry photo is going to become a bust in Canton. Let's light it up, Davis. Thanks for, uh, I feel like I know you now, even though I'm just staring at this blank photo. I feel like I know him. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Because I did. I enjoyed. So, hope you did. Take it easy. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create.